Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the quintessential YouTube tag. My personal favourite, I think most women's favourite is... What's in my handbag? So, I'm switching up my handbag today. I tend to rotate my handbags on a monthly basis. So, I'm going from my Michael Kors on my right side to my Henry Bendel on my left side, which I'm very excited about. I absolutely love handbags. I've loved handbags for the longest time. Um, I get that from my mum. My mum has awesome taste in handbags. I mean, she used to rock like Fendi, Bally, Burberry, you know, back in the day about 20 years ago. And genetically, that's just been passed on to me. I love Michael Kors handbags. Don't care what anyone says about being basic. Love my Michael Kors. I love Henry Bendel, which I picked up in that side. There we go. In um, New York, I love Longchamp, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. So for me, handbags are just a way of my, you know, way of life. Really, um, it's a big part of my identity. I feel like doesn't matter if I look like an utter tramp, if I look like a drug addict, as long as I have a lovely wallet and a lovely handbag, it's all good in the hood. So what I'm gonna do for you today is to dig into my Michael Kors handbag and let's see exactly what junk I've been collecting in there for the last month. So, dot, 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 here we go. So I've got the bag next to me, so I'm gonna be picking out random things and just talking you through exactly how and why it's come to be in my handbag. I will be switching up to my, um, again, that way, <laughs> um, my um, Henry Bendel um, tote, which I absolutely love. Um, it looks very much like a Celine um, micro luggage bag, but um, a little bit cheaper. And then the pink wallet that you can see over there is from uh, my beautiful friends, Jonah and Vanessa. Love you girls. They got that for my 30th birthday. Love a bit of pink, so why not? So that's the bag that I'm gonna be switching into. So let's have a little dig in and see what I've got in my handbag currently. So the first thing that is coming out is my um, phone, as you can see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's a rose gold um, iPhone 6S. That's the cover. It's like this um, iridescent like unicorn thingamajiggy. Um, absolutely love it. Da, da, da. So that's my phone. Second thing is my work phone. So I've got this cute Kate Spade um, cover on it that everyone at work takes the mick out of me for. Look, if you can accessorize anything, accessorize. Because accessorizing makes you stylish. Damn right. <laughs> I'm just joking. I, I just love girly things. So if I could, get, you know, girlify this, then why not? So it's a basic Samsung J5, like I said, work phone, but I have to carry that around to pick up my emails. The next thing that I have is my Michael Kors Jet Set um, wallet. So if we just have a little dwell inside, there we go. You can see, like, I've got actually have cash and lots of change. And then, you know, all my debit cards, everything that you need. That's the wallet. What else have I got in here? I have got my perfume, which is Olympia by Paco Rabanne. Really nice, beautiful smell. Let's give it a sniff now. Beautiful. I mean, it's just orange blossom and amber and it's just very sexy scent, you know, like, wow. Like, I love it. <laughs> I'm nearly finished, so I do need another bottle. What else have I got in here? Oh, receipts. So I've got a John Lewis receipt for um, a nail varnish that I bought recently. It's a Chanel one. I'll probably be in a haul coming up very soon. Then I've got a Collect Plus for my Boohoo order that went terribly wrong, so that's just going straight back. Um, what else have we got in there? We've got my house keys with an attractive Kath Kidson um, key ring. Love a bit of Kath Kidson, don't you? And then, do, do, do. I've got my Kath Kidson like um, portable carrier bag, which I never use. It's just in my handbag, should really use it. Always end up paying five pence for a carrier bag, then realizing I have this, but it's really cute. You know, it's like fluorescent pink with like blue flowers. Cost me eight pounds, definitely worth carrying around girls. 
if you remember to use it. Um, the next thing that I've got is some warm vanilla sugar 24 hour ultra sheer body cream. So I'm currently using this as a hand cream. Always keep your hands moisturized. Your hands is the first way that's gonna give, your, give away your age. So definitely give your hands some love. Um, I got this from Bath & Body Works when I was out in New York. It cost $6. It smells really beautiful, just like sugary, vanilla-y, all the stuff that I kind of like. Then I have also got my anti-back, which is also from Bath & Body Works in New York. It's got this beautiful kind of ornate um, kind of cover. And it is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Smells absolutely beautiful. Again, everyone cusses me for like having like fancy, um, you know, like anti-back. But again, why not? You know, you don't want to be smelling of alcohol. If you're going to be smelling of sweet cinnamon and pumpkin, then why not? That's what I say. Then what else have I got in there? So I've got these random Kath Kidson like wallety things that I never use. This one is an oyster holder. So it has my oyster. Not that I ever get to go into London because I work pretty far out of London. Then I have this card holder with like random like cards. So you know like the kind of Cafe Nero, probably my business cards, etc. in there. Um, what else have I got? Now, you lot are just gonna think I'm extra, but I'm extra. I know that I'm extra. So I basically have this really old Fendi um, coin wallet, but what I carry in there is a sharpener for my lip liners. So I cannot stand like having sharpenings and like lip liner crap in my handbag. So I tend to keep it in this really old raggedy um, coin wallet so I can sharpen on the go, but not mess up my handbag. That's very important. Then I have an empty MAC um, lipstick cover for Yash. One of my all time favorite lipsticks. Then I have a a host of like um, boots vouchers of which I'm pretty sure most of them are going out of validity today. So better throw those out. Then I have my Michael Kors um, card holder. Now this is I think really nice guys. It's 35 pounds and really nice looking I tend to carry like my business cards in there um yes I feel so swank with my business cards which are out of date at the moment um, my company just changed names so I need to order some new ones but for 35 pounds you can't go wrong very nice I like that then I have um sanitary towel why not we are women after all I'm not gonna hide that from you guys. Then I have this random um, kind of Michael Kors, uh, there we go, um, cosmetic pouch, which uh, I got from Woodbury Common in New York. I think I paid like $35 or something for it. Like it's pretty good value. And um, yeah, absolutely love it. I tend to keep my keys in there so I don't lose them in this like big like suitcasey bag. Then what else have I got? Um, check the zips. Oh, I have got my Chanel mirror. Yes, I'm sad. Yes, I still carry it in the velvet pouch. That's what the mirror looks like. You know, we all like to look a bit bougie, you know, have your Chanel mirror. Do, do, do. Um, I think it costs 20 pounds from like a Chanel counter, like beauty counter. Why not? Treat yourself. That's what I say. Then I have got in here um, a Swarovski um, loyalty thingamajiggy that I got probably when I bought my mum some Swarovski stuff for Mother's Day. Then I've got Paper Chase loyalty card, um, random business card. Um, this beautiful like keep on smiling thing that a friend gave to me um, after my dad passed away. Um, I still carry it around with me really cute then I've got an accessorize um loyalty card should really put it in my like thousand card holders that I have in my handbag then I have a Sephora which when am I ever gonna bloody use because there's no Sephora's in the UK <laughs> please Sephora if you're watching this please 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 
open it up in the UK, open it up in the UK. There's a lot of money to be had in the UK. Come on, Sephora. <laughs> um, <laughs> like I know. So that leads me to what I call my miscellaneous pouch. So, do, 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 do. My miscellaneous pouch, oh, which has already got stuff falling out, is just basically my bag of crap. So when I'm using, so you'll soon find out that I carry about 50 lipsticks around with me. Girls gotta have choices, right? But when I use my lipsticks, I tend to keep it in my bag of crap. So let's have a look. I've got an Inglot liquid light, uh, lipstick in 34, catchy name Inglot. It's kind of like this berry colour, which we love. Then I've got um, a Colourpop uh, lippy stick in grunge. I've got um, a Dubai um, NYX soft matte uh, in Dubai, like a brownie colour. It's going to be really embarrassing, the amount of products that I have. Then I have NYX liner in cocoa, a MAC liner in plum, a MAC liner in chestnut, a MAC liner in currant. A MAC liner in Vino, a MAC liner in Burgundy, oh my god. Don't judge me, guys. Then I have an Insta Matte from um, Smashbox, which is really nice. So if you have a glossy lipstick, like for example, let's take MAC Rebel lipstick, that's like a satin finish and it's shiny, and you want to matte it out, you just put a little bit of this on top and it really works, it's really good. £18, why not? You'll soon find out that's my catchphrase for anything. So you wanna buy a Lamborghini, but you don't have a job. Why not? Do it. Why do I care? I mean, obviously I do, but I'm just giving you an example, an abstract example. So, <laughs> I also have um, MAC Lipstick in Verve, which is this like plummy color. You'll soon find that I love anything that's a 90s lip. Also have Tampered by Urban Decay. Now you can only get this in Sephora. Oh, come on, Sephora, open it up in the UK. Um, also have a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. I say that awkwardly because of all the press on Jeffree Star, but it's in Deceased. It's a nice color, you know, like I like it. Then I've also got my um, Urban Decay lipstick in 1993 which is this brownie colour, then I've got MAC Beeper, MAC Beeper, sorry, Colourpop Beeper, which is one of my all-time favourite lip colours, which is just amazing, um, then I have got Velvet Teddy by MAC, D for Danger by MAC, um, I've got this Estee Lauder lipstick in uh, Discreet, then I have got, um, another Sephora lip pencil in Rosewood. Yes, it is in Rosewood. Um, if you haven't got a drink by now, please go and get one. Feel free to pause the video. I have a drink right here. Um, obviously for the glass, if you're Asian, you know if you know. Um, my favourite drink at the moment is Pepsi Max. Have a little bit of a sip. I've also got in here plasters because I am really clumsy, like ridiculously clumsy. I mean, I work in an office and I managed to um, slice my pinky finger, I think you can just about see the scar, on a door. That's the kind of person I am. If there's an injury to be had, I'll find it. So consequently, I carry around these really cute Hello Kitty plasters because you never know when I'm gonna slash myself. I also carry around Nurofen, um, just cause. I also carry around um, hair tie, cuticle cutter, strepsils, and finally, um, mouth freshener spray, because you just never know when you're gonna need a bit of mouth freshener spray. So what's left in my bag is um, a Victor and Rolf um, sniffy thing, love a bit of flower bomb, uh, more lip products I think. Yep, so I've got MAC Faux, which is a really nice baby pink, uh, especially for darker skin tones. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 
then I have got um, Huda Beauty Trendsetter. As you can see, I just have a thousand of products. And then I've got, ooh, ooh, um, Scent of a Dream, which is by Charlotte Tilbury. I don't really like the smell. It's just hanging out in there. And then I've got NYX Prune um, Lip Pencil. So that's one section of my bag. Let's go to the second section, which is, um, I've got this kind of like makeup bag. It's by Ted Baker. Um, you lot are just gonna be absolutely disgusted right now. So that's even more kind of lip products in there. I just really like to have choices when I'm out on the go. You know, you never know when you need to change a lip product, you know? If the lighting changes or circumstances changes, I get it. I know I'm extra. I know I'm extra. I know it. Um, then I've got the remnants of um, some baby wipes. Probably have to throw that out and carry around a new packet. This is really useful. Like I find that when I eat out, I've got quite big lips as you can see and then when I eat like the bottom lip touches my chin and I get that like attractive like mark of um, lipstick on my chin which is just superb. So in order to prevent that I usually take off my lipstick before eating with these wipes. Um, so they are useful, they're also useful for stains and stuff, they're only 79 pence from uh, Superdrug, definitely worth carrying around for emergencies. Then I have got my Smints, which I also need to replenish. I don't like chewing gum. I know loads of people do, but chewing gum, A, I feel really unattractive, like, two, it gives me gas. Sorry, you didn't need to know that. And three, I just don't think it actually freshens the breath. Whereas with Smints, like, four of these just literally make your breath smell amazing. Then I have got in here um, Lacoste um, perfume thing. Um, I have got a Subway receipt from when I had Subway the other day. Then I have got my, um, I want to call this Tangle Teaser. Yes, my Tangle Teaser, which is leopard print, of course. Um, I tend to carry this around when my hair is not curly. Um, Quite useful. Why not? Tangle teaser. And then I think that's pretty much what's in my bag. This is what my bag looks up, like close up. So it's the jet set tote and it has the zip in the middle for um, carrying around your MacBook Air or your iPad. Love this bag. I've got this bag hee, in three colours. I've got it in taupe. I've also got it in black and I've got it in tan. Well worth the money. I bought it when it was discounted during Christmas. I've also got my little pom-pom thingy, which is like stress relief, I just love it. Um, I got that off eBay, just put in um, fur, key, pom, and you'll get a whole range of like these kind of like pom-poms to stick on your bag. So gonna put this beautiful bag away now. Um, it's done its service for the month. And then if I show you guys the bag that I'm going to use, which is the Henry Bendel I was talking about, that's what it looks like. Real leather, got the Henry Bendel. It's, it's one big compartment inside, which is why I always carry loads of these sub, kind of sub pouches, because I like to be organised. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of Henry Bendel, but definitely worth checking out if you're in New, New York. It's uptown, it's towards like 56th Street. Um, it's just beautiful inside, just loads of girly handbags and they have loads of makeup and um, it's just worth looking in because it's just such a quintessentially like girly um, uh, shop to check in. Uh, and then finally I'm going to be changing my phone cover to this Michael Kors um, phone cover. It's in gold with Michael Kors along the bottom. So that's me done, I think pretty much. So that brings me to the end of my epic What's In My Handbag video. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, follow me on my social media links. If you want mini product reviews, then follow me on Instagram. If you want to see me goofing around and just generally what I get up to in life, then follow me on Snapchat. Um, 
much love guys and see you in my next video